this video, I'm going to be talking about equilibrium again, and here, is, here are some two, the two formulas that you should know by now. You should know them very thoroughly, and let's get right into it. So, we have this formula. Now, if I only have i plus x minus m, but I move on the left-hand side, and I move c and g to the other side, so I get y minus c minus g, this, yeah, this would be step one of manipulating the formula that I am going through right now. The final step, the final stage of the formula, I'll tell, I'll tell you why I went through all these steps. So then, uh, so then step two of manipulating the formula would be i plus x minus m equals y. Now we know that consumption is pretty much uh, our disposable income minus our savings. So we take yd minus s, that is consumption, and minus g for government spending. The third step is i plus x minus m equals y minus, now disposable income is what we have after minusing our uh, earned income from our taxes. So we do y minus t minus s. And then again, we minus g. Now, now we have this formula. This is what we end up with. The left hand side stays the same. And we have y minus y by, by distributing the y into the brackets. We have y minus y plus t plus s minus g and these two y's cancel out and so we're left with i plus x minus m equals t plus s minus g and this should look familiar and t plus s minus g is our national savings national savings national savings because remember I'm sure I went through this in some other videos past that uh, national savings is a pro is the private savings plus the public savings which is the savings of the government but so then the government what they earned is from taxes so minus all their government spending that's their public savings and s is pretty much always our our private spending so that is Altogether, our national, national, or S is our national savings, and T minus G is our public savings. So all in all, that's our national savings. So, and the left hand side is what we call the national asset formation. I plus X minus M is our national asset formation. National asset formation. And I'm just going to tell you straight out that I half, halfly remember what this really means, but I believe it was what makes up the economy, uh, what makes up the assets of the economy. Because investments pretty much are assets, and X minus M, exports minus imports, are pretty much uh, assets too. Because when you export, if you have something positive, then that's the that's pretty much earnings, right? So I'm guessing it's assets, but you might want to check up on that. But then all you really need to know for an introductory macroeconomics course like we're doing is that I plus X minus M is national asset formation. So that's what I want to teach you this video. So we're going to abbreviate that national asset formation NAF is equal to NS, which is national savings. And that only occurs when we're in equilibrium. And we can take this formula and turn it into the following formula. So if we swap the places of M and G, we get I plus X plus G. And the, the right hand side, we get S plus T plus M. And what the left hand side, what we call the left hand side is what we call leakage or no, that's what we call injections actually. 
So the left hand side I plus X plus G is called injections and the right hand side is called leakages or leakage. Why are they called these two terms? Well, because the right hand side injections, they put money, put money into the economy, into economy. But a leakage on the other hand, a leakage takes money from the economy, takes from economy, takes money from the economy. And that is what I want to teach you in this video. In the next video, I'm not sure what we're doing, but I hope you look forward.